What's up guys, this is Reno Ranchero with another Hunger Games gameplay commentary for you all. In this video, which is another episode to my Hunger Games kit challenge, I'll be playing with the launcher kit. With launcher, you start with 20 sponges, and when you place them down, they cause you to be launched up into the air. The more you stack on top of each other, the higher you will go. But let's start this game off. A lot of people are running away from me, so I didn't slow the video down. But we get this guy here, Geholder Murdra. And I get a few hits on him, but he takes off just like everyone else. But we do find this guy in a hole. I take the fall damage and block it, moving around, and he dies right there. He was a Viking, but luckily he didn't have time to make an axe. Uh, so I use the launcher kit to get out of my hole, and we get this guy, Ninja CBW. He has an iron sword. He hit me a couple times with it. I use a soup, and then I kill him there. He didn't have time to make any soup. So that was really nice for me. I get an iron sword within the first four minutes of this game, which is crazy. I do make some more bowls, and then I continue on. Now I find this person here named Soldier Gamer, and they're most likely hacking. I would have to say they're using auto soup at least. Uh, they might be using a few more things, but auto soup is for sure, because this guy never stops to refill, and he's using only a wooden sword. My sword does a lot more damage than uh, to him than he's doing to me, so he'd have to stop to refill at some point, but he really never does. In fact, he's just pretty much constantly swinging at me. Uh, so I'm using a couple of hot parts here just to stay alive with this guy who never really misses with a shot. I don't know, maybe he's just really good at PvP. He speed hacks around that tree right there, so I take a moment to refill my inventory, and I go back to fight this guy just like anyone else would have to fight a hacker. I chase him for quite a while through the swamp, uh, but on the way I get this guy Gasly, who just dies pretty easily. I wish every kill could be that easy. And then we go back to Soldier, who's having a really fun time constantly refilling and hitting me every single time. Uh, but pretty soon here, he's running out of soup. His auto soup just isn't going to keep him alive anymore. And I kill him there, turning him into bowls. So it was a good thing I was able to finally finish that guy off, even though he made me use, like, all my soup. But that is okay. We are about eight minutes into this game, and there are more people to kill, 23 other people. I dig straight down to this guy. He has an iron sword, and he is smelting. But I'm able to use some soup quickly and finish off Geronimo. He was a burrower. And there's someone else coming down, so I use the launcher sponge right here to kind of shoot myself out of the hole and hit this guy in the head. But he is also able to crit me, jumping up, so his hits with his stone sword also do a lot to me, which is frightening. Uh, but then right here, actually, I have to refill because I don't want to die to this guy, and I go down here, and one more shot finishes off Rod. He was an Urgul, uh, so luckily he didn't have the strength because he would have been able to kill me easily with that strength. Uh, so I go ahead and make Iron Boots, and I move on with this game trying to track more people through the swamp here. This person here is actually two people, and they're a water team, so they have the water effect. I hit this guy, Tyler. A couple times he dies in the water, and then his teammate, for some reason, thinks I'm going to want a team, but of course I don't, and I kill Digger Dude 25 right there. He was a cannibal. Uh, so that was a good kill there. That team is now dead, and I can move on here in the top 17. Someone on my compass named Jesus' Angel, so that's kind of nice to have a meeting from Jesus' Angel. He's right there breaking wood, and I kill him in about three shots. He didn't have a kit. Uh, so now we're tracking someone named Raphael W2000 and um, trying to track him. I think that Raphael is underground, so that is why I dig straight down, hoping to find this guy. I go really deep here, uh, level 40, even lower, basically to bedrock, trying to get this guy. And if you look into the chat, he disconnected for too long. Of course, I didn't even realize that. So here I am trying to find him, uh, but when I can't find him, I decided to just mine iron because, you know, that's a good thing. And I wanted to uh, get leggings and a helmet, but the funny thing is I didn't have any wood. So instead of smelting the iron, I just used my launcher sponges to get out of the hole. And I just go towards the feast, and we get this guy Chompy. And I try to dump lava on him to make up for the difference in armor, but I miss. And then I just go in and fight this guy. Now this guy is doing a pretty good job. I can refill pretty quickly while I'm quick dropping. He gets a good combo on me there. I want to make sure I don't fall into my own lava. In fact, I pick back up my lava here. Refill yet again. 
And then right here, I get the lava on him, which I'll admit is a cheap tactic, but whatever, folks. Uh, it is a 1v1. Anything goes in the Hunger Games as well. So we're having a good fight here. He is on fire, uh, and I am trying to get as many hits on him as possible. I don't have very much soup, as you can see, uh, but I'm trying to use it to the best of my ability. I'm able to refill pretty quickly with quick dropping, but that'll only help you so much once you run out of soup and you can't make any more. He runs away, and I get one more hot bar into my inventory, or I mean my hot bar. He is a pyro, so he tried to catch me on fire. I got a huge lag spike there, which is frightening. To die from a lag spike would be terrible. I have two more soups into my hot bar, uh, and I'm trying to survive, and right there, the pyro dies. So very good fight, Shompy11. I barely survived. Uh, so I put on his pants, and now I have almost full iron minus the helmet. And there's this guy who's above the feast. He's a stomper. I'm going to the feast. I want to be careful because look at him right there. He got me down to just one heart. But luckily, he didn't even have a sword, so he couldn't finish me off. And I was able to kill him. So anyway, I'm going to the feast. This guy, he's a scout. I throw an instant damage on him. And then I just try to go in with the combo here. He gets on fire. He tries to soup and put on a diamond chest plate, but he dies. And then we have Light Skull, who I hit a couple times. He doesn't have any armor at all. Uh, he think he's holding a bucket. He's a burrower, and he dies right there. But then we have someone else who's trying to tower, and I decide to use the launcher kit right here and show you guys just how it works. You can put down sponges and stack them up like I'm doing right here. Now, the first time, I don't actually hit them. Uh, but then the second time, I get right on top of my stack right here. Go straight up into the air, way up above him. And then as I land down, I kill him, but I slip and I survive with just two hearts. So that was a good example of how to use the launcher kit. Uh, it's really great for countering towers. Uh, so now I can go through all these chests, make sure I have everything that I need, and I am in the top five with full diamonds. So that is pretty much uh, the best possible situation. I try to blow up the feast with lava, uh, which, you know, that'll ignite the TNT eventually, and I move on in this game. I'm in the top five, and one of the guys, Mike, just left, so I'm really just in the top four. So there's three other people I want to kill. There's this first guy, Lincoln. He falls down into this little area here, and I jump down to fight him. And it turns out this guy here is my favorite kit. He is the monk kit. Of course, I'm being sarcastic. He mugs me into steak, but it only takes me a second to go into my inventory and press the one key. And then I have a good exchange here with the monk, whose name is Lin Khan. Not Lincoln, but Lin Khan. I kill him there, and then we have a team of two that doesn't have any armor at all. This guy here, Kuka, is a viper. Uh, but I go down here, he doesn't have any soup. And then the last person in the game is Dome Splita, who I kill there. And I win the game with Launcher. Launcher is actually a really great kit. It's perfect for countering towers, and you can also go into ravines and not take fall damage, and it's just a really nice kit, and I would definitely recommend it. And I don't have the stats page because profiles are down right now, but I got at least 15 kills with the launcher kit. And that is the end of this episode of the Hunger Games Kit Challenge. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit that like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate that. And I hope you guys have a great day. Goodbye.